Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akabane101, and welcome, finally, after 10 years, oh my god, Final Fantasy XIII is finally released, it's crazy, guys, wait, wait, no, it's actually called Final Fantasy XV, and there's no verses in the title, <gasps> what is this madness? Indeed, Final Fantasy XV has finally been released, and I'm playing on the PS4 Pro, which means we get these fancy options down here like HDR and resolution. Uh, high resolution, I think, is 4K, and then light resolution is uh, for whenever they release the patch to run in 60 FPS, which I don't think is currently right now, um, so we'll see if it happens at any point. But yes. Oh yeah, even 15 years, probably, even. Crazy, it's been so long since they've announced uh, Versus 13, but it's finally here. And we're playing with, uh, again, Japanese voiceovers, uh, we're playing with English subtitles, so you guys get to enjoy all of that goodness. And, uh, yeah, let's just go dive right on into it, and hopefully, uh, things don't go horribly awry. But they probably will. Uh, we're gonna play on normal difficulty. I don't know if there's gonna be a hard difficulty, but normal and easy is, like, the, the new thing that they're doing with 13. Uh, the tutorial offers an interactive explanation about the story and combat system. You know what? Let's do the tutorial. I'm pretty sure everyone on Twitch has skipped the tutorial, so let's go ahead and, uh, do that. By the way, this will be on YouTube and Twitch, so there will be some chat interaction, of course. I see Dife right in chat, Cyrus the Mad DJ. How you guys doing? I'm expecting this to be very similar. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the Judgment Disc demo. Also, I get Carbuncle because I played the Platinum demo. Hey there, Noct. <laughs> it's so good to see you again. You remember my name, right? You gave it to me after all. It, it's Cactar. I mean Carbuncle. This here's the old training room in the world of your dreams. I'm gonna teach you this ins and outs of this world to help you along on your journey. All right, lore guide. Let's do the combat tutorials first. I'm interested in that lore guide though. Now, I've already put, like, 25 hours into the demos, so hopefully I, I won't be that bad. Gladio says he'll help you train. What a pal. Alright, let's get started. Combat the basics. Defend yourself. <laughs> defending. Uh, okay, first, let's practice defending. Press square to phase. Hold square to automatically evade attacks. The key is to defend slightly ahead of time. Like Goku in Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. Woo! Nice work. Let's practice a little more. Dodge Gladiolus's three times. Yeah. Woo! That's the way. Oh, we're good so far. <laughs> All right, now it's your turn to strike. By the way, how are the uh, how's the audio settings, guys? I can adjust things as we go along. Circle to blitz. Hold down circle to automatically chain attacks. Tilt the left stick while attacking to change the way the combo unfolds. Strike a foe from behind. Deliver a blindside for fifty percent more damage. That's good to know. Blindside. <laughs> Oh wait, I don't have the HUD on. <laughs> I just realized I was uh, the game was installing when I downloaded it, so I was messing around with no HUD. There we go. This will probably make more sense for everyone watching. There we go. There we go. Circle behind and whack. That's how you do it. Thanks, Ocelot. So I was trying to bring up my audio settings again because they all glitched out. Parian. <laughs> I love this terrible voice I've given him. All right. Okay. Press square and and then circle to counter. Certain enemy attacks can be parried. A shield will appear signaling you to defend. After defending swiftly, press circle to parry. Dink. Got him. And the maracas. Chuka chuka chuka. Whoop. 
Oh, in case anyone's wondering, uh, in the options menu, if we go to the camera settings, I actually have it set to far. The game wants you normally on medium, so I'll show you guys that one. So you get to see a little bit more detail in the character models and stuff, but it's a lot more difficult to play like this. This is what the, uh, the Judgment Disc demo was like in all other demos. But it's much easier to play when you have the camera set to far, which is super, super nice. And I hope this is on the normal PS4 version. I'll have to check, as I do still have my original PS4. Alright. I've completely murdered Gladiolus. Nodus will take heavy damage if you fail to perform the initial attack or the initial block. Stay on guard and be ready to defend at all times. An intensive drill is available to help you hone your parrying skills. Alright. What's up, Technomical? Good morning! Good morning to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, time to put all that practice to work. Attack, defend, parry your way to victory. Alright. Heh, <laughs> you missed, you fool. Wait, I can't dodge around, can I? I guess they haven't taught me yet. They haven't taught me that. Ha! Get wrecked! Well, oh, it seems you get like, uh, you get a counter attack if you, uh, even if you don't get the, the dodge button. Yeah, you do get a counter attack. That's pretty cool. Wrecked. My time was terrible. Get out of here, game. Say, while you're here, you want to practice warping too? Let's begin the next tutorial. I want to make sure I know everything uh, in terms of combat. I don't want to just go in thinking I know everything because that might make me miss out on some cool combat techniques and all that. Warping. All right, it's warping time. Uh, triangle Blade Warp. Noctis has the ability to instantly warp to where he throws his weapon. Just like in Kingsclave. Alright, so perform a perform a blade warp. I would I would do it. Press triangle to throw your sword. I mean I need to aim at it though. Alright alright. Oh I guess I don't have to aim at anything. For this one anyway. Uh, R1 to lock on triangle to warp, R1 plus R3 equals tracking, and then R1 to cancel. Oh, uh, no, no, R1 and then, yeah, change your target. Alright, the camera stays centered on the target, helping you keep it in your sights. Fair enough. Lock on to gladiolus. Alright, I did it. Now it's time to strike. The damage Noctis deals increases with distance. There we go. Nice work, let's move on. Point warp. In addition to warp striking enemies, Noctis can also point warp to specific locations. Uh, I'm gonna lower the game volume a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Uh, look around with the triangle button. There we go. Alright, point warp. While suspended from a point warp warp spot, Noctis will automatically lock on to a target. Yeah. And then you just hit warp strike. Okay, so I don't have to hit the lock on button for that. But if I want to hit him normally and I'm on the ground, I have to hold R1. Managing MP. Warping and phasing consume MP, which is shown as a blue gauge above Noctis's head. After point warping as well as on the bottom right. Uh, if Noctis uses MP into or into deficit, he enters stasis, which uh, severely limits his abilities. Keep an eye on MP and use items to keep it replenished. Square to cover when icon appears, and then square to stand when in cover. Take cover behind large objects like rocks and pillars to recover both HP and MP. All right, I'm gonna hide. Eee. I'm scared. So whenever I'm in stasis, I need to go hide. Which I pretty much knew in the Judgment demo. Performing a point warp instantly restores all MP. Take note of markers in case you need respite. Or respite, whatever.
try taking down Gladiolus with warp strikes alone. Review warping controls on the right screen. All right, let's do it. Get wrecked. Ow. That really hurt. That really hurt, Gladiolus. Ooh. Rude. Whee. <laughs> Didn't expect that now, did you, buddy? <laughs> wrecked. I think you've got warping down pat. While we're at it, let's say we review resistances too. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think I know anything about resistances in this game. So this is gonna be good. Hey, it's nighttime now. Hooray! Attack Gladiolus. Okay, so this is gonna teach me like physical defense and stuff. This is gonna be fisticuffs. Try striking Gladiolus a few times. Alright. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Okay. Wow, hit, he's taking no damage. He doesn't seem to be feeling it. Whoa, I love the lighting here. Waypawns. When striking an enemy, the damage value may appear in different colors. Orange indicates increased damage, while purple indicates reduced damage. Enemies can be resistant or weak to different weapons. Swords do not seem to work very well against Gladiolus. So, you will want to try another weapon. <laughs> Alright, good to know. Let's try this one. That one seems to do it. That seems to do it. Yes. Yes. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Murder. We did it. Noctis has obtained the javelin, the polearm, which is for dragoons. Woo! And now I get to learn how to equip stuff, which I pretty much know how to do. I could do this in the Japanese version. Uh, equip Noctis and his friends with waypawns, accessories, or necessaries, outfits, and techniques. Noctis can equip up to four weapons, while his friends can only equip two because they suck. I mean, wait. Uh, let's see here. So we just scroll through here, grab the javelin, a polearm that unleashes its full potential when you use true strike, internal thrust. Uh, I mean, wait, what? Uh, yes, equip that. Let me use this. Whoop. I didn't read what he said. I didn't read what he said. Oh, this says use different weapons. All right, fair enough. Woo! I love when you do the the back attack here because he does insane damage. Let's do it. Spells. To use magic, you have to equip it like a weapon. I mean, to use magic, you have to equip it like a weapon. Here's a spell to get you started. Thank you, kind Moogle. I mean, Carbuncle. I mean, Summon Monster. Noctis has obtained a spell fire. Like weapons, spells must be equipped before they can be used in combat. Cycle the spells icon tab to equip fire. Yep. All right, wait, can I not? Can I not do that now? Uh, I guess it's under still gear. All right, they don't, they don't want to teach me how to make magic. They just want to teach me how to equip magic. Uh, level 10, a robust and versatile one-handed weapon. No, no, no. Inflicts fire-based elemental damage. That's what we want. High potent, uh, highly potent, but limited to a certain number of uses. Cannot warp strike while using fire. I didn't know that, actually. That's useful to know. Spellcasting. You can swap to it like a normal weapon and hold circle to cast a spell. So I have it equipped. Cast fire. Boom! Holy shit. Still powerful as ever. Although if I was standing in that, I would get hurt. Man, the fire effects are amazing in this. Pretty pretty cool. But I also had other words there that you didn't read fast enough. That's your fault. Uh, circle to prime the spell. And then left to aim. Cast release. Magic is extremely powerful and destroys indiscriminately. Take care that your allies are not caught in the devastation. Enemies can be resistant to uh, resistant or weak to different elements. Gladiolus uh, is currently weak against fire. Uh, when a fi when a weakness is struck, damage values appear in orange. Yes. Noctis cannot warp strike while wielding a spell or machinery. You must first switch to an uh, to another weapon. All right. We're learning here today. Checking resistances. Okay, so the game features active and wait mode. 
Weight mode emphasizes strategic elements of combat. Engage weight mode and lock on to an enemy to analyze it. Okay, so weight mode actually enables Libra, apparently. Here's some elemental energy you can use to craft spells. Oh, it's even going to teach me how to make magic. This is cool. The same old tricks won't work on Gladio this time. Find out what he's weak to, and then let him have it. Keep forgetting his, his accent. Alright, hold on. Let's go to element C. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I have three magic flasks now. Okay, so he's probably weak to ice. Uh, as would be probably indicated here. Also, can we equip anything else? No. Okay, let's go craft. At least I'll know exactly what I'm making. Which is always useful. Hey, how you doing, Saboey? I'm doing quite well. Super excited to be playing some Final Fantasy XV. We're doing the tutorial right now. I can't change my clothes. So, that's a shame. Wait, wait. I need to change things. Uh, Blizzardo. Let me go also to the options menu, because the game wants me to check out weight mode, which I might actually play with. I like weight mode. So I'm locking on, and then it gives me Libra. The weight timer's at the bottom, so I have limited time. And so if we look up here, uh, it says that he is not res he's uh, actually weak to those dual blades I just replaced, and he is weak to ice. Okay, let's try out ice then. Yes, so that's 2,000 HP. Wait, wait, what? Okay, you know what? Boom! Bitch! <laughs> oh, wait, does it always keep, like, bringing me back into this mode? That's so weird. Oh, God! Okay, please. Don't kill me. Uh, I need to equip my weapon. I forgot to do it. Because I'm terrible. Let's go my two-hand sword. Twin blades. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill out, bro! Okay, I got this. Oh my god, you're mean. I forgot to dodge. Why didn't you dodge, Noctis? Alright, sick. Wait mode's gonna take some getting used to, because I never. I don't think I was in the judgment demo at all. You've got the hang of it now. Last but not least, how about practicing some teamwork? Actually, yes. I really need, I need to learn how the teamwork works in this. I think it's all based off uh, back attacks. Will the AI learn how to counter slash resist certain spells or attacks? I I don't think it'll be that smart, but that would be cool. Oh, I got I got the best character in the game. Link Striker. How do we do this? Not just his friends engage in combat automatically. If they are nearby when Noctis performs a parry or blindside using a sword, great sword, or polearm. They may join in on a link strike, so it's actually very specific to what weapons you are using. That's good to know. All right, let's do it. Oh god, get him! Okay, we got. Oh god, please don't kill me. Link strike, baby! I'm still on wait mode. Okay, you know what? Wait mode's a little weird because it keeps like forcing me back into wait mode. It's like, are you sure you want to keep doing that? I, I want to have Libra in uh, in the full active combat mode, but whatever. Oh god, please! Alright, big strike. I think we need to do a... Uh, shit. We need to do a back attack here. Shit! F you! It's, I think it's forcing him to do the link strikes, though. I guess we gotta do it three times. All right, limit breaks. Noctis' friends have unique limit breaks they can perform on his command. Performing a technique depletes the tech bar, which fills gradually in battle. Try having him do a piercing attack. All right. Oh, God. You know, just casually shoot my friends with guns. That's good practice right there. Follow up. A successful technique creates an opening for Noctis. Press circle when prompted when prompted to follow up with another attack. All right. Spend AP in the Ascension menu to learn new techniques. All right. That's all it told me? Just, you can learn things. Danger. What do you mean? Oh shit! Nine, 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 nine damage. <laughs> Ow. 
When Noctis runs out of HP, he enters a state of danger. This not only impairs his abilities, it also decreases his maximum HP over time, and when he takes damage, uh, when his maximum HP falls to zero, the game is over. Noctis recovers from danger with time, and when a friend comes to his rescue. Thank you, friend. So yeah, my maximum HP goes down. If I, uh, am I, if I'm wounded. Kind of Dark Souls-esque there. <gasps> Pronto, don't die! Friends also fall into a state of danger when they run out of HP. Unlike Noctis, however, they do not automatically recover and need to be rescued first. I will shave you! I will shave you. Gotcha. <laughs> Woo! We did it. Can I hide for XP? I mean, I mean HP? Recovering from danger does not restore maximum HP. Combat items. Characters can still use items while in danger. If an enemy target only uh, targets only one person, select two. Use elixirs to restore Noctis and Prompto's maximum HP. Alright, so we hit uh, R2 for Tactical. Elixir fully restores HPs. So I use mine. And elixir on Prompto. Boom. Dank memes. We did it. Potions and elixirs to lift a state of danger while restoring HP. Alright. Now team up with Prompto and fuck up Gladiol. I mean, beat the shit out of Gladiol. I mean, just spar with him. Don't kill him. Spar with him. Woo! Oh god. Alright, I have the wrong weapon here. Oh god, please! Yes! Get wrecked, bro. Wow, he just slowed him down. Invulnerable? Oh, when he's like that, he's invulnerable? Don't kill me. Why are you guys using live ammo? I don't like it. Shit! Oh. Do it again. Shoot him again! Shoot him again! Woo! Oh shit! <laughs> that was close. Yes! Wait, why are you still invulnerable, you dick? Okay, now I got him. And then, Prompto vomits. With your buddies at your side, you've got nothing to be worried about. Okay, what's, uh... Oh, begin a new game! Alright! Let's do it! You know what, I'm gonna cut the video here, and then we'll have an episode zero for the YouTube video, and then we'll just have, uh... The game start a new game. Let's do that.